And so as we finish up the muscles below the hyoid, we have our thyrohyoid, and it's called this because it connects to the thyroid and the hyoid. And then you have a segment of it that connects from the thyroid to the sternum. So this one's called sternothyroid. And this one, again, thyrohyoid. Then, as we make our way to this side, this is superficial. This lies on top of this muscle. And so, this is going to be your sternohyoid because it connects to the sternum and the hyoid. And then we have our omohyoid. You can see a segment of it here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the superior part of it. So it actually goes down and then comes and connects all the way over here to your deltoid region. And so omohyoid. And this one that sits on the larger one that connects to the sternum and the clavicle and the mastoid process is called the sternocleidomastoid. All right. That's involved in lateral flexion. And when we look at this chest area, you can see we have our pectoralis major. And then if you take it off, you would see all of these muscles underneath. You have pectoralis minor. You have your internal intercostals. And then you have your external intercostals. You can tell this one's a little bit above that one. So external and internal. If we make that adjustment with this model, this model's pectoralis major. And then you have external intercostals, internal intercostals, and pectoralis minor. And there's that sternocleidomastoid and all those similar, those hyoid muscles we just talked about on this model.